sex robots have become a fast-growing field of development, with Abyss Creations Harmony Real Doll among the most famous to date. And now, it looks like Harmony is getting a sister. On stage at CES for Engadget's After Hours show, creator Mad McMullen debuted a new personality named Solana, by switching the sex bot's lifelike face for another. McMullen also revealed he is working on developing male sex bots along with the potential for more gender variation beyond that, and cleared up some misconceptions about how the integration of male anatomy may come to fruition. During an on-stage interview with Engadget editor-in-chief Christopher Trout, McMullen explained that the sex robot's face is designed for versatility. The face is actually modular, the same way that within the app you can change the personality settings and create a separate profile and separate avatar, you're able to remove and attach a different face to the same robot very easily, McMullen said. And anyone can do that. But the process, while quick, is somewhat unsettling. Peeling the skin off the robotic head, McMullen revealed the mechanical skeleton beneath, with bulging eyes, dental mold style teeth, and a clear cranium exposing her inner circuitry. This last component, the creator noted, is just for the demonstration. Owners of the real doll sex spot probably wouldn't have the clear top. With the face successfully changed out and a different color wig added, McMullen turned to the app and switched the personality, allowing Solana to take over where Harmony had existed just minutes earlier. During the demonstration, it was impossible not to notice that Harmony slash Solana was missing something important, her entire body. Without a body, the robotic had sat propped up on a thin stand, though it somehow still managed to show ample cleavage. The idea is that the sex bot heads can be added to existing real dolls using an adapter the creator explained during the on-stage interview. But, the firm is also working to develop new, heated bodies equipped with accelerometers and sensors that would allow them to respond to touches, and even move. I'm pretty gung-ho now about getting movement, working on the neck down, McMullen said. Eva built a torso that moves and gyrates. I'm working on the arms as we speak. So far, McMullen says he has ordered enough parts to make about 20 of the bots, and already has at least that many pre-orders. By the time the dolls are ready to ship, there could also be a male version ready, McMullen told Trout. And, while there has been much speculation recently about the inclusion of bionic penises, McMullen says that isn't quite the case. But yes, obviously the male robot would have the capability of having sexual parts attached to him similar to how the female bot does, McMullen told Trout. Instead of a vibrator-style appendage, McMullen said, I'm thinking more something that would function the way the male anatomy functions would be really cool, actually able to be stimulated and become aroused.